This is Lama Tantrapa. I would like to talk to you about the weekend warrior syndrome. Weekend warriors are those people who go gun ho on the weekend because they feel like they haven't been working out all week, maybe even several weeks. And so now they have the opportunity to hit it hard. They work hard and they play hard. And so they go full bore and then they hurt themselves. <laughs> so by the end of the weekend or a day or two into the next week, they feel decrepit. They feel really stiff, sore. Perhaps they pull the muscle, perhaps they overstretch, perhaps they overuse their body in some other way. How many people do you know who do that to themselves? I know hundreds. I've worked with many of them as my clients. So what I wanted to talk to you about today is how to not become a weekend warrior. Or if you happen to be one, how to quit being a weekend warrior. So you stop hurting yourself. You stop causing yourself backsliding. That's right. If you overtrain or if you overexert yourself over the weekend, you won't be able to train or work out for the next week or maybe even longer. Why do they do that? Well, maybe you can relate to this. Have you ever felt like you have a dream? You want to become strong or you want to achieve a particular monumental goal. For example, climb a mountain or you want to go downhill skiing down the Black Diamond or you want to just go work out because you have this opportunity over the weekend and so you just overtrain yourself. Or maybe you decided to go to take yoga class and you overstretched. All of these are the results of certain dreams that you may feel like you need to pursue or they're worthy goals. And these dreams and aspirations usually reside outside of your comfort zone. If they were within your comfort zone, you would be living them by now. But the fact that they are still dreams, they haven't manifested for you, probably means that they have been outside of your comfort zone. And so what do people do? They charge, trying to jump over the edge of the comfort zone, hoping to land right where the dream is. For example, you want to become flexible so you can do splits. Well, so you essentially warm up or do whatever you need to do to prepare yourself for stretching and then you stretch a heck out of yourself. And it may hurt, but you feel like I'm doing the right thing because I really need to get into the splits. And so you stretch yourself and by definition, stretching means pulling the muscle beyond the edge of its comfort zone. What happens to the muscle when you pull it beyond the edge of the comfort zone? It has a stretch reflex. It actually becomes shorter like a rubber band, you pull it and then it snaps even shorter. Because the central nervous system sends signals to contract to this muscle that's been compromised, that's been pulled to the degree that it may actually get torn. So with the signals of contraction, the muscle naturally will contract. And when it contracts, it becomes more tense, which is the opposite of greater flexibility. So in other words, You were hoping to become more flexible as a result of your stretching, but you actually ended up adding insult to injury. So what's the solution? (laughs) Well, the solution is not to stretch. The solution is actually to work with your goals or your objectives. Identify how far you are from that particular place where you want to be in terms of your strength, flexibility, how physically fit you are, how beautiful you are. You essentially cannot force yourself to become more flexible or more beautiful or more physically fit. You need to develop yourself in that direction. And the developmental process takes time. So instead of hoping to jump over the edge of the comfort zone and get right where you want it to get, And that almost always leads to landing somewhere else 
other than your dream place. <laughs> so in most cases, people retreat back into their comfort zone and have to recuperate and regroup. And then they charge again and they throw themselves over the edge of the comfort zone, hoping to land where they wanted to land to manifest their dream. And then guess what happens? <laughs> they hurt themselves again, they retreat back to their comfort zone so that they can heal up, regroup, and then maybe they'll do it again and again, creating a cyclical crisis, whether it's a health crisis or the crisis of relationships or the financial crisis, people create their own crisis most of the time. So it's not other people who do this to us, we actually cause our own grief. I have compassion for you. And I don't want you to suffer unnecessarily. I don't want you to cause yourself more grief than you need. So I implore you to learn how to moderate your aspirations. And it's not like you don't want to have any dreams. Of course you want to have dreams. But how soon you aspire to achieve these dreams, that is the key. Instead of trying to achieve that in one weekend or even in one month, you may have to take a few months, maybe even a year to be able to do splits, for example. But guess what? <laughs> you will not cause yourself any unnecessary grief and physical ailment if you pay attention to the edges of your comfort zone. As a matter of fact, this is being mindful of the edges of your comfort zone. A lot of people nowadays talk about mindfulness. It's like a big buzzword in certain circles. Instead of just talking about mindfulness, I invite you to walk the talk, to develop mindfulness in relation to the edges of your comfort zone. When you're mindful of your edges, you're not gonna throw yourself over the edge. Once you arrive to the edge of the comfort zone, you will pause. And instead of pushing yourself over the edge, you will start exploring what it's like to be on the edge of the comfort zone. What happens when you explore what it's like to be on the edge of the comfort zone? You actually spend some time. And the more time you spend on the edge of the comfort zone, the more you get used to being on the edge. And by doing so, you actually expand your comfort zone. When your comfort zone expands, guess what's going to happen? It'll be easier for you to experience that which used to be impossible or very uncomfortable before. In fact, by expanding your comfort zone, you may even make it so broad that it will envelope that place that used to be a dream, the destination that you were hoping to get to. It may take a bit of time if you erode the edge of the comfort zone instead of just throwing yourself over the edge but you will achieve that more organically. You will achieve this with much greater consistency. And also, once you expand your comfort zone, it will become available to you at any moment. So you will be able to be flexible at will, not just once in the blue moon. And it applies not only to flexibility, it applies to strength, it applies to personal development, it applies to relationships, finances, anything. In other words, this is mindfulness in action. And I invite you to develop this level of mindfulness and walk the talk, literally manifesting this mindfulness in everyday life. I will continue offering you some tidbits about this method of training. And also, we'll be happy to hear from you about your experiences. Perhaps you have some experiences to share or some questions. I will be happy to answer any questions. Please type them in the comments below this video or to the side of this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Tantrapa. Also, please comment below this video and I will look forward to continuing our journey together. Namaste.